coming up on my brand new North Face 25 Mountain. Sorry. Jeez, just woke up. North Face Mountain 25. Just came in the mail yesterday. I set it up. I was hoping for uh, really bad weather. Uh, Hurricane Mike, the remnants, just left. And I was going to set it up uh, to see how it could handle the wind. And uh, it just went below us. Went down towards Roanoke. I'm up in uh, Alexandria, Virginia, up in the middle, uh, mid-Atlantic. And uh, I was really hoping for some, for some bad weather, but it didn't turn out to be. So, I've got this really nice looking tent out in the sun uh, for weather. Four, four season tent which it's kind of nice on a day like today um, I took a nap in there for a while listening to my music but uh, the uh, battery ran dead on the speaker and I did want to leave this here and drive home to get the battery charger I thought I packed it in my my uh, my backpack, but I didn't. Uh, that's a bummer because uh, had I gone a couple hundred miles or a hundred miles west of West Virginia and been in the wilderness, I would have been really bummed because I wouldn't have had battery backup. But this is just around the corner from from my place, so. Uh, Nice little park right near me. So, what do I think about this tent so far? Um, I think it's really nice looking. Uh, I haven't had a chance to test it out um, in the weather, or bad weather anyway. I've had no bad weather not a drop of rain on it yet I mean when I came out here it looked like it was gonna do something but it turned out that that those clouds that were to the south stayed to the south and never came up towards Alexandria and the ones that did hover over me it got dark for a little while and uh, it just did nothing did absolutely nothing and I was really looking forward to it I brought uh, brought a stove and some mountain house and got you know uh, my sleeping bag in there I had uh, this army jacket that I was gonna wear for uh, in case it got cold Cause it was cold this morning it was like 59 degrees and uh, it felt like it was going to be a bad day, but be that as it may, it wasn't. So let's get to the tent. Um, let me see here. So you can see the vestibules here. It's got one right here, or a vent. Sorry, vent. My bad, vent. Um, it's got a vent there, vent there, and uh, this is just a fly, but also on the inner tent, it's got uh, a couple zippers, which I'll show you. Um, I tried to set it up as tight as I could. Um, I really hope, <laughs> I would never really hope for bad weather, but I really wanted to see what this thing can do, and if you look up at the at the leaves on the trees how oh, they're blowing
pretty sustained. And you look at the the tent and the descriptions when I got it, it was talking about a uh, bomber, you know? Uh, not a phrase I'm normally used to. Um, but this thing, it, it shows no effects of wind whatsoever. Uh, that's pretty remarkable. So let's get a look on the inside. As you can see, it's got a little button you can do down too, but I don't think you, you can't button it when you're inside. But anyway, there's a button. Nice, uh, nice loop on that zipper. So all you have to do is pull it. Yeah, got it so tight it's maybe you got a little too tight, but it works anyway. So I put a, a tarp in here, as you can see. Um, I, I'm, for me, I mean, if, when I, uh, set up a tent, I like, uh, a tarp everywhere. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody that has grass down, but to put your bag down on the grass and, and if it's wet or snowing to put your stuff on, the, um, on the ground, I don't know, I don't get it. So I had this tarp and, uh. I put it in front, as you can see. Um, I was actually looking for a yellow tarp to sort of match the color of the tent. I mean, like I guess that doesn't really matter, but you can just match it anyway, but I couldn't. But anyway, I've got the tarp down. So uh, I ended up cooking right here, put my sterno right here. Um, and made some uh, uh, mountain house uh, eggs and bacon and it's pretty good it's pretty good all right so let's look inside so this is a two-person tent now I've got to get a I've got to get another mat an air a little air mattress but the ground is so soft here that I wasn't really going to worry about it, plus I wasn't going to be here overnight. Um, I was just going to come here and let it let it rain on the tent. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I heard that if you take a brand new tent and you, uh, you take it out and you let it rain on your tent and you bring it in and you hang it, that what will happen is the threading when it starts to dry will thicken and then it will thicken inside the thread hole which creates a better seal I don't know whether that's true or not but I was hoping it would rain on it anyway and and like have that happen so anyway um, you can see there's two more vents in here and you can vent that back door um, I've got it wide open um, let's see <clears throat> Let me go ahead in. All right. So let me try to arrange this the right way here. So I am having a little bit of a problem, and is that I'm almost six two. And it's, it's a nice space. I mean, I can fit in here, but it's not like, uh, you know, I'm five foot four and have uh, ton, tons of space and can move around easily. So anyway, um, you can zip this up. And there's nothing coming through, literally nothing coming through. Then you can open this. And there's your other way of getting getting it vented. And 
pretty much the same for the front here and you can see that vestibule that's pretty it's not massive but uh, I've seen videos where people are out in the snow and uh, you know wind gusting you know 60 60 miles an hour 70 miles an hour and uh, you know they've got that thing shut up and I mean it's nice to know that you can cook in there you need some ventilation definitely but uh, if it's if it's so bad outside and you're stuck nothing like knowing that you got a little vestibule that you can cook in see that. it's a pretty nice space And, um, I, I started packing my stuff up because it's not going to be, the weather's not going to be bad and, um, it wouldn't make any sense me sitting out here, um, in this tent, um, you know, just sitting in the sun doesn't make any sense, especially around the corner from my house. I mean, if I'm out in West Virginia... Now, I've gone fishing or near a lake or something, you know, I'd leave it set up and go fishing and then come back. But, um, you know, in Alexandria, Virginia, I mean, the sun's starting to really crank now. Um, still, the, this is, oh, uh, it's, not, it's not hot in here. It's not hot in here, hot in here at all, um, which is a good thing for a, a four-season tent. But, um, so, anyway, pocket here pocket there that's your big pocket and your big pocket and another pocket and another pocket there's also something cool that they they give you they give you like seven of these triangles these yellow triangles and um, I didn't see what they there was no description in the um, in the manual for what they were, I didn't get a manual. I just got a piece of paper, and it said um, had one through like six, and had the diagram of how um, these things, this thing was supposed to be set up, which I didn't, I didn't get. I ended up setting up this thing uh, without it, and as a complete novice, and it took me a long time, but it shouldn't take me a long time anymore. Um, anyway, these triangles, and you can set them up like right here for another pocket and you can set it up right up here and right back on that other side um yeah this is this is a pretty cool tent um it's got a lot of room for a two-person tent i mean it's not it's not bad but hopefully i'm uh um, I'll get to the point where uh, I can really test it in bad weather. There's my Coke right there. Uh, nobody cares about that. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool tent. So let me go ahead and take my almost six foot two frame and get out of here. Like I said, this is the, this is pretty much the worst part. Is that being almost six two? You can't just duck down. I've got to basically, uh, I got to basically crawl out of this thing. So, anyway, this is uh, this is my North Face Mountain Twenty Five. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, it only, it, it, I got it extremely fast, and uh, I'm, I'm happy about everything so far. So, maybe, well, I will make another video when, uh, when it's really bad weather. I'm definitely coming out of here, because that's why I got the doggone thing, was for bad weather. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, till the next video, bye.